Well, drug agents raid an old hickory home and seize pounds of drugs shipped through the U.S. mail. Thank you for joining us for News 2 at 4. I'm Mark Kelly. Now, Andy Cordan has been on top of this investigation and joins us with his story that you're seeing first on 2. Andy? Hey there, Mark. You know, this was a joint operation led by the Williamson County Sheriff's Office, the U.S. Postal Service, Fairview PD, and the TBI. Now, working together on a tip, an old hickory address was flagged and a drug dog later indicated on a package that was headed for that address. So here's what it looked like when those units raided the address in question. Armed with assault weapons at the ready. Sheriff's Office with a search warrant. Come to the door. Drug agents enter this old hickory home. Come on out. Okay. Come on out. Officers search the house, seizing all this. You're looking at a pound of pot, a pound of magic mushrooms, two firearms, close to $2,000 in cash, and multiple shipping labels. It's just not a big deal to them to put it in the mail and ship it. All they need is a fake name, a fake address and uh, deliver the package and I mean it's totally undetected unless you've got somebody that's on their A game in the postal service that's watching for those suspicious packages. According to Williamson County drug agents, the prime suspect is the man wearing these pink shorts. Investigators tell me the 20 year old allegedly moved large quantities of narcotics through the U.S. mail. These shipments typically came from out west, delivered to his home under a fake name. But it was evident he hasn't had a job in uh, several years, and uh, that was the income for him. So he hasn't had a job. He had lots of cash. He's certainly not paying taxes. Is that accurate? Ab absolutely. According to investigators, drug dealers are bringing unknown quantities of narcotics into Middle Tennessee through the U.S. mail because, as some dealers have said, it's easy. Interviewed a kid yesterday, totally unrelated to this, and he just flat out told us, he said he's been getting all his stuff through the mail. And I said, you mean the U.S. Postal Service? He said, yeah. How can that be? His own admission, he had been doing it for years and has gotten hundreds of pounds. So he's not he's service. not smoking hundreds of pounds. He's selling this stuff. Straight up said, he's running the game. And while agents seized the contraband in this operation, the man in the pink shorts was not arrested yet. But investigators tell me charges are pending as this investigation intensifies. Back to you, Mark. Andy, thank you. And so this afternoon, the U.S. Postal Service sent us a statement, and here it is in part. Winning the battle against illicit drugs is a top priority for the Postal Service and the United States Postal Inspection Service. Now, to achieve that goal, Postal inspectors proactively seek to identify and remove or seize illegal drug shipments in the mail. In 2021, postal inspectors investigating the shipment of illegal drugs by mail initiated 2,300 cases, made 2,100 arrests, and obtained 1,900 convictions.